hardly find in your mind the time to relax and recline and unwind. The time to see and fly as though your life is love living in two. Sink or swim, then you will find that you can provide in your mind the things to think and find in your life. Your love living in. I'm currently walking up to uh, the campsite. I already filmed here twice now. Um, and uh, the first time, it didn't turn out that great. And then the second time around, uh, it I didn't come back up here and film. Um, so I went over the footage and I wanted to come back up here. So the video that you're seeing now is over the course of a few... Uh, few different trips but there's a few buildings left up here it's not much um, but most of the campground is still intact so we're gonna go up here and check it out it's actually kind of a chilly day and it's kind of eerie being here alone because uh, this is a really eerie spot so anyway so what I've gathered from uh, just previous times when I've been here this uh, along here was parking and uh, this was obviously the main road um, to get up in here and this was a Yogi Bear campground up there is a pool and a event house and also the main store and offices uh, I'm not sure if there were cabins here but they're gone and then you'll see up here the road splits and goes to the campsites um, where there are bathrooms and things. Man, it is so weird. It just feels weird being up here, like it's just off. Um, did not like that. So, that's odd. I was up here yesterday and, uh, this door was wide open. Now it's been closed. And I just heard something inside, but I'm gonna keep on filming. So this over here was a uh, a pool with a huge full deck. Um and you guys can probably see, I mean where it's been filled in now the park service is using it as their storage. And then there's uh there's this building which I'm a little skeptical about going up into now. I mean this just looks this place is like the ceiling's all fallen in on it and stuff, so I'm not like too overly worried. I just don't know what that thud was and like what I'm about to find inside of this place once I do go in. area 
for concessions. Here's where I heard that sound. Looks like this was just offices back here. This building is not in terrible shape aside from the uh, the ceiling being real messed up. This was the bathrooms, but I've already been in there once. I may or may not include the footage, but it's full of spiders, and I really just, I don't want to go in there. This would have been um, some kind of event barn, which you can see everything is still um, inside of here, just stuff from the campgrounds and things that have been uh, been left. I believe this was a store too. From this sign on the wall over there. And uh, there's a bunch of golf cards, like uh, little tally off cards and things. right up in here where we're heading I'll show I'll flip around here and show you guys that down there is uh, the road and it I guess at one point it probably turned to gravel up in here and uh, you could see where some of the cabins used to be because the pipe work is still there and I imagine this used to be a lot more open but it comes up here and you can see like some of the electrical hookups and things like over there straight ahead is an electrical hookup for a, uh, a campsite. And then the road split at the beginning of this and went down to more campsites. And then if we keep going up here. This used to be a, uh, a bathroom, obviously, which is now 
completely fucked. And overrun by wildlife. You can kind of see the where the showers and things used to be. I've actually welded these uh, these doors shut, the top and the bottom. They had like no intentions of uh, ever returning. Here's another one of these just fucked bathrooms. I don't think too many people know about this place um, because it's it's pretty up here and just desolate. Um, and there's not a lot of vandalism. I mean, it's mostly just uh, natural decay. I mean, there's no spray paint or anything. This probably was a store or something up here. So a, uh, a mine cart type thing would have taken you down in here years ago. I don't want to talk too much because it is a uh, dangerous one, but because we are on um, park service property. But I will be able to once we get down in here. There's a few ways to go, but I think I'm going to stick with the, uh, the main route down into here, which is very slippery. Oh, shit. These were the old, uh, stairs or a ramp It's so weird how this camera pans because I'm not used to uh, how slowly it does. Do you still have your light? It's in the bag. Oh, you're not going to use it? No, I don't. It's too dark. I don't need to it. Correctly. 
there wasn't much that way. So, or really honestly that way. So go down here. Holy shit, is that fresh? What? All this fallen stuff? Most likely. Really? I don't... I think this was here. I don't think so. I mean, this is... I'm pretty sure this is sedimentary rock. the other side. Wait until you guys see this. Somebody put up these nice little stone or uh, bricks here. You will walk across and then you can see the original pathway went across here. And then look at this beam, I'll show you. You can see how bent it is there. But it's from these uh these walls here coming in. Um and uh people are throwing various items down in here, obviously not for a while because the fence is up now, but it looks like you would have walked out on this pathway which is buried now across to here and down into there. And at one time, that up there was probably a, uh, a gift shop or something. Already covered in stickers. slipped on that rock. Last time we were here, it was raining, and uh, this was pretty bad to try and navigate. It looks like this rock here probably fell yeah. into the path um, a long time ago. And of course, all this rock up in here has, uh, has actually fallen. So this, uh, this place closed somewhere in the 70s. Um, that too probably pumped oxygen down into the uh, thing, the uh, tunnel. Which means it's really safe to be on here. Um, closed somewhere in the 70s. And shoot, look at that path.
There's no real reason why it closed other than um, structural issues with this cave apparently. This is hard to get up. Where um, this cave is made of the rock that it is. And uh, I forget what kind of rock. I'll probably put it up in the the video somewhere on, along this timestamp. But uh, like Daniel was saying, it gets wet and it breaks down easy. And so when it breaks down, a lot of the time it'll fall. But... We're not in here all night, uh, particularly rainy day, so. Oh, man, this is slippery. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave my bag back down here because I remember navigating up in this area. It was really bad last time with this bag on, so. stepping on currently is so slippery. And then I'm gonna have to It's not that bad. It's pretty deep though. I'd be interested to know if this uh, keeps going and where. Do you think this is fine to go down? Uh, I don't know. I've got no idea. This is the part that Brandon was talking about where you have to army crawl through. Yeah, that's not happening for me. Alright. 
I guess we'll uh, go back the other way. Just turn around. Hold on. What? I don't, I can't tell if this used to, I don't think this used to go anywhere, like anywhere that you could, people have been down here though. Yeah. It says, uh, I don't know if it's still there. It's all these scratches, I think it's all from Skyline. Man, this is pretty cool. All the minerals that are in the ceiling. Yeah. Are you ready? Mild orange. So you want me to stay?